Hello, I'm Ricardo Romero, and I'm here to present my response intervention, which is the advanced story map. Okay, and um, at the end of the presentation, I will have an advanced uh, story map sheet for your students to fill out, and uh, the instructions to go with it so that uh, you can go step by step uh, to use this. It's a very, very effective tool for increasing comprehension of reading material, particularly for, for example, we're reading Richard III, which is a little bit heavy to comprehend uh, for general ed kids. I work with special education students. And um, this way, it's kind of a scaffolding that all, kind, all students can use. So um, each, each one of the um, items there asks specific questions. For example, who is the main character? And what is the main character like? Is he a good person, a bad person? Is he the villain? Um, in, in this example of Richard III, Richard III is kind of a villainous person. So we get to know inside, particularly when he does his soliloquies, which he, where he talks to the audience, kind of like what I'm doing now, um, which is kind of like between the audience and the main character. And the other characters in the, uh, in the story have no idea what's going on. Um, also, who is another important character in the story? And what is this other important character like? How does he interact with the main character? And um, what does he bring to the story? And where and when does this story take place? In other words, this gives you, gives the student the answers to the setting and the time frame that um, the story, when the story is taking place. Okay. What is the major problem that the main character is faced with? We always have the um, Oh, man against man, man against environment, man against self, uh, those sorts of questions. How does the main character attempt to solve the major problem? How does he deal with, with things that he's, he's being faced with? And like always, that makes the things that make stories interesting is, what is the twist or surprise or unexpected development that takes place in the story. That's what makes the story interesting. And is the problem solved or not solved? Um, it used to be that always the story would resolve itself in the end, but with, um, a lot of popular reading nowadays, the, a lot of times the end just kind of leaves you hanging. Sometimes maybe you think, okay, maybe there'll be another book that continues on, and we'll find out what actually happens, a uh, sequel. So, and what theme or lesson is in the story? Okay. It um, doesn't have to be like a, a moral, but a lot of times there's a theme, you know, whether it's science fiction, uh, or sometimes there there is um, a moral to the story, kind of a, a lesson that it, it uh, teaches you, or it wants to teach you. So anyway, um, there's my intervention. It, uh, I think it's just an excellent tool to just add in the comprehension of uh, literature that the students are required to read. They actually understand what's going on. It also slows down the reading, like we discussed uh, earlier. Um, slowing down the reading does help with comprehension. Instead of getting through this, let's get through it to find out what's going on. That's it. Anyhow, I hope you under, uh, enjoyed that. Like I said, all the materials will be provided, and uh, you can check it out, try it for yourself. Uh, if you have any suggestions or other feedback or other experiences you might have had with it, please feel free to share with that with me and um, um, thanks for your time.